left social media. It's essentially one of the best things that has happened to me. Before social media, I was a full-time accountant and I was constantly being told to tone down my personality. I just felt like so invisible and social media changed that for me. I remember that I was like, wouldn't it just be silly if I just created an account just for fun, like a meme account? I did daddy issues, the Instagram account, which was anonymous, but there, it was my alter ego. This girl was so cool. Everyone loved her. All the boys liked her. Social media has given me opportunities that I wouldn't have otherwise. I was able to quit my job, and then the second year after quitting my job, I made three times that. Thanks to social media, I was able to buy a home. Hi guys, welcome to my beautiful home. This is my beautiful office. This is my kitchen where I don't know how to cook. I have around five Instagrams right now. All of them have a ton of followers. I also have TikTok, I have Twitter, I have Facebook, and I have Snapchat. It's a full-time job. I have close to five million followers. It lifted me up. Uh, obviously, now I'm no longer anonymous. I don't believe that social media is toxic. If you don't feel good, then you have a choice to turn off your phone and put it away. Well, Violet, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Well, thank you for being here. I also want to welcome tech expert Shelly, who's joining us virtually. Shelly, thank you for being here. My pleasure. Uh, listen, you guys see this very differently, and so we can talk about those differences. Violet, you said that in your real life, you got bullied and picked on a lot. What about? <laughs> Well, when I was younger, I was being bullied for, I was born with a birth defect where I had no enamel on my teeth, so I've had veneers since I was five. So growing up, I was always bullied about my looks. At one point, if people tell you, you're disgusting, you start to believe it. Like for me, social media really saved me from where I was. I was crying every single day in my car. Before I would walk into work, I would cry myself to sleep because I was so depressed. My dream, my goal was to be a partner in my accounting, public accounting firm. I knew it wasn't going to happen. And for me, I didn't have social media before. So when I created it specifically for that, it was my escape. And then I got to connect with people all over the world where people could actually relate to me. And I was like, wow, I'm not alone. And it was like one of the first times in my whole life where I felt like I fit in, where I felt like people understood me. And it was all thanks to social media. So Shelly, what do you think about what she's saying? I, I mean, to her, she's saying this was therapeutic. It was an outlet, it was cathartic for her. Um, it's a business, and, Dr. Phil, it's a business. Right. And it's, it's a pure business. And so she goes to work with a persona like so many of us do. Uh, when I present to my, in, during my business day, I present as either the professor of advanced media at Newhouse School or I pre present as the CEO of the Palmer Group. And I act accordingly. When I was president of the Emmy Awards, I, I presented as the president of the Emmy Awards, not as Shelley Palmer, the father and grandfather. We have personas. She goes to work with a persona. It's totally fine. But there was one thing that was said that I'd like to take a little issue with. If you don't like it, you can just turn it off. Well, maybe, but maybe not. But isn't that true in the real world as well? No, it isn't actually, because the algorithms are tuned to keep you engaged no matter what. And you can tell me uh, the following. When I see a donut, and especially if you look like me, you love donuts, I love donuts, I can have the discipline not to eat the donut, but I can't have the discipline not to feel like I want the donut because the dopamine is released and I'm all excited about the donut. And so that's what happens here. I'm on social media scrolling and I am becoming more and more addicted because the algorithm is tuned more and more to what it is I care about. So while you may have the discipline to turn it off, it's very, very hard to do so. I applaud what, what she's done with daddy issues. I think it's fantastic, but it's not the average person's experience on social media. Right, yeah, but when you were speaking, you, you said you, you were using words, or oh, I could do this or I may do this, which means when you were using those words that you had a choice each single time. I'm simply saying you can have the discipline to make a choice, but you cannot force yourself not to feel what it is you feel. And when dopamine is released at this level, right. you, don't have, you don't have the ability not to feel. You may have the ability and the research discipline shows, to choose. Research may. shows that you, have, you need seven days to change a bad habit into a good one. So it's the same well, we're thing. Not talking it's, about, we're not talking about I know, but social here. media this is kind of the same forming. thing. If you know no, something's it is affecting not. you it's badly, not. It's, no, it's not, and you don't know. That's the whole point. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.